So welcome back everyone, Mike here. I have a little bit of time this evening, so I came down here to the wood yard to cut a little bit of wood. I have been chomping at the bit to try the new setup here and start getting some wood in the new firewood bin. So at some point, the uh, conveyor and the splitter, it will be set up on the other side of the firewood bin and we'll dump in from that side. But right now we've got a bunch of logs sitting right over there. Uh, there's a few saw logs there in the front, but everything behind that is firewood poles. And I just brought this down with the excavator. This is up by the building. Uh, that was that one that I was kind of holding off on cutting it down, and I finally took it down. So I figured I'd get that out of the way. But the way this is going to work is this. Uh, I have this basket set up right here. So when I'm splitting, I'll take the small pieces that are like bark-free, nice premium stuff. And I'll put those, those in the basket here, and this will be for bundle wood. Everything else will go up the conveyor and into the firewood bin. This should hold about, about 15 cords. That's a guesstimate. Oh, and by the way, this, this corner block right here on the bottom, I was reading through the comments on the video when we set all this up the other day, and there had to have been a hundred comments about that block right there. The reason is, I cut, I busted the top off of it, the tongue. I busted this piece off. There was one running this way. It would have worked had I spun that block around. I know that, and we knew that when we were setting them. The reason I did it the way I did, there's two different faces on these. Not that it matters, it's just personal preference. This is unfinished on this side here. And then if you walk around to the outside... kind of a finished face if that makes sense so that's why I did that no big deal like I said just personal preference <laughs> I got a few rounds cut up ready to go this is pennsylvania cherry right here and then over on the other side of the splitter i got a couple real big uh red oak rounds right there i don't have a lot of time tonight but just this little bit of wood here will be a good test let her warm up for a bit
Well, we're not finished, but Melissa came to tell me dinner's ready. Ready. And uh, this is just a little test here, but as you can see, it's going to work out good. This will be the bundle firewood in here, and boy, you get a lot out of those uh, yeah. big oaks. Yeah. An awful lot out of those. I added some footage on our story on Instagram, Outdoors with the Morgan, so you can go check it out. I showed that that big round had a split in it, and there was little worms, and that hole where that split was, those sides got completely black when you cut it open. Yeah. And then the rest of it's fine. Yeah, so. it had a big crack all the way through the center of it, and it gets, uh, all kind of stuff goes in there to live. Yeah. But this is going to work out really well. Uh, very small pile of wood in there which is nice because it shows how big the bin is this will work out good i think if you came down here for a good uh eight hour day we can get a lot of wood a lot yeah that'd definitely be if well, you interesting to do yeah we should yeah do. we should do that i was thinking i want to mention to you guys so these are kind of like different size rounds here if you have like i don't know eight inch rounds or something with that four-way wedge and that auto cycle, man, can you make a lot of wood in a hurry with that. I mean, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty excited. I think it's going to work out good. It's nice on a fall day. Like, we can see the leaves falling down around us, and when you look up, a lot of them are colors are changing already. So, it, he it heats you up, you know. It does. Mike's sweating. I've not been down here that long helping, but let me tell you, in the kitchen cooking dinner. That'll warm me up too. <laughs> well, right, you we're going to have dinner, so thanks so much for watching. Comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.